look, you, you, you will see this, you're like, wow, this is so cool, how did you do this? Hopefully. <laughs> well, it's a basic, it's something very basic that you can do in Blender, with constraints in a rig. Now, it isn't that complex, so don't worry, I'll guide you through it. Now, let me just clear out this rig. So this is how the vanilla beta, if you're seeing this in the future, the rig is probably finished and you don't even have to fin don't even have to watch this video. There's probably a link in the description for a correct one. But anyway, uh if you're watching this when the rig is still in beta and still in alpha actually, uh then this video is for you. How can you make this work? It's pretty easy. Uh, I want a cursor to follow it, right? So what you need to do is you need to obviously get a cursor image. Go images as plane. And you just want to select a cursor. So where is a cursor? There you go. Alright, so you got a cursor. Now what you need to do is you need to have a switch to see if inherent rotation is off. Now, still in the off stage of uh, this rig. Um, I don't have feature to do that. Uh, so what you need to do is you just need to go here and be sure that this is on. If you're watching this in the future, uh, this should normally be a switch in the important property or properties. So uh, as I said, <laughs> you won't even have to follow this story. It's pretty easy to do this. It's like one click. Uh, but anyways, this is still uh, an early uh, rig. So at the time of this video of being uploaded. But anyways, we have a cursor, we have a rig, we have the inherent rotation checked. Now we need to add a bone. Just go shift D uh, to the normal bone. You need to press tab to go to edit mode, by the way, or you poo poo brain, hopefully not. So you have a duplicate bone. Now what you need to do is you want to go pr back to tab. You want to go here, select this. Now it's a yellow bone. Also, the element you need to go to the running man and select in front. Yeah, you need to do that. Uh, but anyways, now you have bone thing. But it doesn't do anything. Select this bone. Hold shift. Click the other bone. Go tap. Hold, uh, click control plus P. And then click on keep offset. Now when you move this bone, it works! Look at that! How beautiful is that? It's beautiful, I know. Anyways, what you need to do now is you need to just go here. Track 2. Go here. Go there. And you have a cursor. And as you can see, it works. Now, there, if the cursor isn't in your right position, go tab. Go to edit mode. Edit that. And your cursor can be to your liking, you can scale it, you can move it, there you go. You can have like the most ginormous cursor in the world. <laughs> like it just... <laughs> there you go. That's it, that's how you do that, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's just a short video, I want to show how you could actually achieve this um, cool effect for your animations with the power of AEPBR. Actually, with any rig, uh, as I said, this rig is in alpha stage, this thing will be a feature of my rig. See ya!